In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to plot images. Now, it's useful to mention that many famous machine learning datasets, such as MNIST and CIFAR-10, are image datasets. But these datasets are not stored as actual image files. For example, on your computer, you may have images that are in the JPEG format or the PNG format. But some machine learning datasets are stored in different formats, such that the entire dataset with multiple images can be stored in a single file. For us in this lecture, we'll be concerned with just single images, like the ones you might have on your computer. So to start with, we're going to download an image from the internet using the wget command. Now, of course, you don't have to choose the same file as me. You probably don't want to type this URL out by hand. So as part of your exercise for this lecture, please find your own image and get the URL for that image. You can pause this video until you found an image that you want to use. I am going to grab the URL from my pre-written notebook. All right, so you can see from the output of the wget command that we downloaded a file called lina.png. So next we're going to use a library called pillow, which will help us load in our image. So let's import pillow by doing from pil import image. Next, we're going to use pillow to load in our image. So for me, that's I am equals image dot open lina dot png. Now, although this is the numpy stack, this return value is not a numpy array. We can check the type of this object to confirm that. So we just do type I am, and we can see that it's a PNG image file. Luckily, it's very easy to convert this into a numpy array. We can just do it like how we convert lists to numpy arrays. So it's just array equals np dot array I am. Now, the reason why this works is because images are represented in computers as arrays. If you think about it, an image has two dimensions, height and width. And for each location along its height and width, it has a color value. So that's exactly what this array is. It's a box of numbers. We can print the array to confirm that. So just do ARR, okay, and that's our image represented in a computer. Now, there's something interesting about these numbers, which you'll learn about more if you ever take a class with me on computer vision or image processing. All these numbers seem to be integers rather than floating point, and they are all between 0 and 255. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that the D type of this array is UN8. That is, the numbers are 8-bit unsigned integers. So it should make complete sense to you that these numbers are between a 0 and 255, since 2 to the power 8 is 256, and therefore, with 8 bits, that is the total number of possible integers we can represent. Let's check the shape of our array. So that's arr.shape. So interestingly, it's a three-dimensional array of size 512 by 512 by 3. So what do these numbers mean? Well, the first two dimensions are the spatial dimensions. They are the height and width of the image. But why is there a third dimension of size 3? That's because for each location in the image, we need to store the color of that pixel. And it just so happens that colors are stored using three values. Specifically, these are the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. These three numbers tell us how much red, how much green, and how much blue to combine to make the color at this location. And by the way, just so you know, they teach this stuff in kindergarten. So if you're feeling confused, then tonight you might have to ask your kids for help with your homework. So how do we plot this image? Well, we use a function called imshow. So let's do that. So that would be plt.imshow arr. As you can see, this is the famous Lena image used in every computer vision course in existence. And by the way, this also works with the original image. So we can do plt.imshow im. Now, one thing we often do in computer vision is we work with grayscale images, also known as black and white images. One simple way to convert a color image into a black and white image is to take the mean across the color channels. So let's try that. So that's gray equals ARR dot mean axis equals two. And if we check the shape of our new array, 
we can see that it's 512 by 512, which means we've collapsed the color dimension, which is what we wanted. So what happens if we plot this image using IM show? We do plt dot IM show gray. So that's interesting. It seems we've been given a weird set of colors. It's a weird mix of green and yellow. Now it's important to note that these are not actual colors stored in the image itself. These are all just numbers between zero and 255. So it's not like 255 is green and zero is yellow. These colors are actually decided by matplotlib. If you were using a different programming language or even a different version of matplotlib or Python, these colors might come out differently. This is basically what is called a heat map. So you actually just learn how to do two things at once. But still, we would like to know how to plot this grayscale image in actual grayscale. The way we can do that is by using the cmap argument. So let's try that. So that's plt.im show gray cmap equals gray. And as expected, our image has been plotted in grayscale.